Hi everyone, it's Darla. Welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. So let's talk about the construction of this top. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to make a chain that's going to fit around the biggest part of your body, okay? So I always, you know, go around the girls. So the chain is going to go across and it's going to go just a little bit past under your arm like an inch or two on both sides. You're gonna make your, that'll be your starting chain. It'll be at the bottom. And we're gonna be working back and forth, back and forth, but we're going to put a, um, a border, we're gonna work a border right into the bottom of the back. Okay, so we're gonna work back and forth, back and forth. We're gonna make a neckline and then we're gonna work the back, back and forth, just like we did the front. And then we're going to sew up the sides here. And then we're going to make a little bit of a, a little bit of a border on the sleeve part. But you can also make short sleeves or long sleeves. You just with the border, you can just keep going until you make the length that you want if you want long sleeves. And also with the neckline, you don't have to have it this wide. You can make it more narrow. Um, also the neckline can be lower down in the front than it is in the back like mine and I show you how to do that okay uh, so a few options I usually have some options with my designs so um, yeah it's very easy to make and it works up really quickly I used a three weight yarn here cotton yarn you can use a one weight or two weight. Um, I'm actually working on another one with a two weight right now. It's gonna be, it's gonna have long sleeves. And uh, so it's the same design. It's just that I continue, I'm gonna continue. I haven't got sleeves yet. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue um, making the border and all the way down to my wrist so it has long sleeves. And I'll show that in a future video. But um, yeah, this is, it's cute and fast and easy so like I said this is a three weight you can use a one weight a two weight a three weight or even maybe a thin four weight as long as it's cotton or mostly cotton um, if you do want something a little heavier you um, warmer I should say you could use acrylic yeah because the other one I'm making with the long sleeves is in acrylic Okay, so let's get started. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. For this top, I used Premier Cotton Sprout in the color Lavender. And it's a lightweight three yarn. There are 230 yards, 210 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams in one of these and I used pretty much three of these and they're hundred percent cotton and I used a five millimeter crochet hook use a darning needle to sew in the ends a pair of scissors to cut off the yarn I actually used some safety pins because we're I pin the sides together because we're going to be sewing the sides closed or you could use stitch markers. All right, let's do it. We're going to make a chain in multiples of six plus two. So for my top, I did a chain of 78 plus two. Now you do the amount of chains that's going to fit you. Okay, multiple of six plus two. Okay, so now we're going to make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So this one is the first one, and we're going into the second one with a single crochet. We're going to make a single crochet in every chain along this row. Okay, single crochet in every chain all the way to the end of your chain. Now 
Now we're working on the bottom of the back of your shirt. The front and the back bottoms are going to be a little different, but it's all going to be in one piece, okay? So now I've made a row of single crochets. Going to chain one and turn. Okay, we're going to make a single crochet in that first stitch and single crochets all the way across our row. So we're going to end up with two rows of single crochets. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, we have two rows of single crochets and don't forget that last stitch right on the very end. Put a single crochet in there. All right, now we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to go in that first stitch and make a single crochet. We're going to skip two stitches, one, two, go in the next one with a shell, which in this case is five double crochets. Okay, all in that same stitch. That's two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're going to skip two stitches, one, two, go in the next one with a single crochet. Skip two stitches, one, two, go in the next one with a shell, five double crochets. So this is what we're going to be repeating across this row. It's two doubles, three doubles. four doubles and five doubles. Okay, then we're going to skip two, one, two, put a single crochet in the next. Skip two, put five double crochets in the next. And continue doing that until we get to the end of the row. I'll meet you there. three, four, five double crochets. Okay, that's the front, that's the back. Okay, so the last stitch I made was a shell, five double crochets. And then we'll have three left, three stitches left. Skip the next two, go in the last one, with a single crochet. Okay, so that is actually, this is gonna go like this. This is gonna be the border of the back of our shirt, okay? But I'm gonna continue crocheting on the rest of the rest of the shirt, okay? So what we're going to do here, you just made your single crochet at the end. We're going to chain one. We're going to go into um, this space right here. Okay, that one right there with a slip stitch. Make it kind of loose. Going to go into the next space here with a slip stitch. Leave it a little loose. We're going to go into our chain here with a slip stitch. Leave it a little bit loose again. And then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go into that first chain. This is our chain, a starting chain, with a single crochet. And then we're going to skip two chains, one, two, and go in the next one with a shell. Okay, so five double crochets, that's one, two, three, 
four, five. So we're doing the same stitches that we did down here. Okay, then you skip two chain, two of those chains. Yes, one, two, go to the next, do the single crochet. Okay, continue repeating that. Skip two, go in the next one with a shell. One, double, two, double, three doubles, four doubles, five doubles, and then skip two. Go on the next with your single, and they'll meet you at the end of the row. All right, I finished making my last shell. So when you get to the end, you'll have one, two, three stitches left. Skip those two, go in the last one. Because we made a shell, we need a single crochet as the next stitch. So we'll do that, single crochet. Okay, so then we chain three, turn our work. That chain three counts as a double crochet. And then we're gonna make two more double crochets right into that same stitch. Okay, so now we have two double crochets, make one more, three double crochets. Okay, now we're gonna skip two stitches. So one, two, Go in the next stitch, which is the middle double crochet of our shell, with a single crochet. Skip the next two stitches, one, two. Go in the next one, which is our single crochet from the row before. We go in there and make a shell. One, two, Three, four, five double crochets. Okay. Now we're going to skip two stitches. One, two, go in the next one, which is that double crochet in the center of our shell. Go in there with a single crochet. Now we're just repeating. Skip the next two stitches, go in the next one, which is that single crochet from the previous row, and make a shell into it. Okay, that's five double crochets in our shell. Okay, skip two, next one, do a single crochet. Skip two, next stitch, make your shell. Okay, then I'll meet you at the end of this row. Um, at the end of the row, the last stitch I did was a single crochet, so we know we need to make a half shell after a single crochet because we're at the end. So we skip two, one, two, go in that next stitch right, not here, but right before that one. Okay, go in that next one, I mean, sorry, skip two, go in the next one with three double crochets. It's one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now in that first stitch, we wanna put a single crochet because we know our next stitch we're gonna work into is a single crochet where we're gonna make a shell. So we're just gonna put a single crochet in that first stitch. And we're alternating, so 
between single crochet and shell. So skip two and then go in the next stitch with a shell. Okay, skip the next two stitches, one, two, do single crochet in the next. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, go in the next one with a shell. an easy stitch but it's so pretty okay so continue on skip two single crochet skip two shell and I'll meet you at the end of this row now I'm at the end of the row I made my shell stitch next st stitch excuse me we need to make is a single crochet so we need to skip that first double crochet, that second double crochet, and right on the end there is the chain three, which acts as a double crochet. So we're going to go into the top of that chain three with a single crochet. Okay, so now we have a shell here so we need to make a shell on the end because we're going to place a single crochet into our shell so we need a half a shell so we'll chain three and then we'll make two double crochets right in that same stitch so now that counts as three double crochets our chain three and then two double crochets so we have three double crochets Okay, skip two stitches, put a single crochet in the next. Skip two, put a shell in the next. So five double crochets. Okay, how many is that I did? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now just go on doing what we we're doing. Skip two and then a single crochet. Skip two and then a shell. <laughs> just go somewhere else. Okay, five double crochets in our shells. The cat is snoring. Okay, skip two, go on the next one with a single crochet and just keep doing that till you get to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. All right, so the last stitch I put in this row is a single crochet. So we'll skip one, two, go in the next one with three double crochets. Okay, and just uh, continue on with that. And um, I'll show you where I, which row I stopped on to um, make the neckline, the neck opening. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to make the neck opening. Now the row you need to stop on is finish your row that ends in the three double crochets. Okay, and then we're going to work on the neck opening. So we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. We're going to put a single crochet in every stitch all the way across this row. Now this piece here, I started with 31 uh, single crochets, so that's what I need. I need 31 single crochets. So put a your single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and 
single crochet, single crochet in the top of your, each of your um, shell stitches here, five of them here. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row, you should have the same amount of single crochets as you had when you first started at the beginning of your, your top. Okay, now don't forget that very last stitch on the end there. Okay, it's one on the end. All right, so now I have my my 31 single crochets, I have counted them. Okay, so now we're gonna chain one and we're gonna turn our work. Now I wanna deter determine how big I want my, my neckline to be. You're gonna take a look at your piece here. Say this is a bigger, much bigger piece. All right, so I wanna make, um, I wanna make a certain amount of stitches that's going to be wide enough to go on my shoulder on both sides so they have to be equal and then I'm going to make a chain that's going to be my neck opening so you could also make a more narrow neck opening if you want as long as your chain is going to fit over your head okay I'm going to make mine um, my neckline pretty wide because that's just the style that I want. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna count how many stitches I'd like to be on my shoulders. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, say six. So I'm gonna mark that six one. And then I'm gonna go the other side and mark six on this end as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you count as many as you want. Okay. So now I'm going to put six single crochets in here. In each of these stitches, that's two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go into where my stitch marker is as well. So that's six. Okay. So we're going to have six, six on each side, so that's 12. And I have a total of 31, so I need to take 31 minus 12, which is 19. So I need to make 19 chains. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. Okay, now I'm going to go into where I have my stitch marker on the other side. Put a single crochet in there. And then make the rest of my single crochets to the end of the row. Which in my case will be six. It's four. Five, and six. Okay, then I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to put single crochets all the way across here, and put a single crochet in each of those chains, and I have 19 chains, so I have to make sure I have 19 single crochets and then go all the way to the end with single crochets. Okay. 
and then we're going to have the same total of single crochets as we had in this row and mine will be 31. Yours will be whatever number it is. So this is where your head's going to go through. Now we have our neck opening. So now I'm just going to remove these stitch markers. Okay, and I've counted. I have 31 single crochets. All right, so now we're going to chain one. Turn our work around. In that first stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. And then I'm going to skip two, one, two, and make the, sh the uh, shell. This uh, shell is five double crochets. And then we're going to skip two. So it's kind of like we're starting the pattern over again. We're just making that first row again. Okay, so I skip two, I put a single crochet, skip two, put a shell. Okay, now skip two, make a single crochet, skip two, make a shell, just like before. I'm going to meet you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. I've made my shell, and there's three stitches left, so skip two, and in the last stitch, put a single crochet. Okay, so now we need to make a half a fan. So chain three, turn your work, put two double crochets in that end stitch. And now we're just repeating. Okay, skip two, make your single crochet. Skip two, put your fan in your single crochet, and so on. So then what you want to do is, okay, this was your back. You want to make your front. Okay, let me just take this out and you want to pull that stitch out. So I'll put a stitch marker. So this is the back, right? So we'll turn it around. Here's your front. Okay, there's where your head goes. So you can do a couple of different things here. You can have your neckline open so that then the front of your top and the back of your top are right up to your neck, okay? And so you would make the front of your top the same length as this back part. Or if you would like your neck line to be a little lower in the front, it's more you know, not pushing right against your neck in the front, you just fold it over a little bit like this and then determine how many rows you need from here to become the same length as the back of your top. So this is how I'm going to do mine. Like that. See, if you go like this, You're probably going to make like one more row to make it reach the back of your top. Then if you have it down like your neckline down like that. Okay, and then we'll just be, we'll be sewing up the sides. Of course, your arms will come through on either side. But I'll show you all that when we get there. So just continue making the length that you want for the front of your top. All right, everyone. So this is my top so far. Okay, so let me tell you what I did. I wanted my neckline to be lower in the front than it is in the back. 
So all I did was make less rows in the front than I did in the back. And then I just pulled them together. So they're gonna match here. And like you do what you want to do. If you want your neck higher, then you would make the same amount of rows in the front as you did in your back. Okay, so now I have it pinned on me. And uh, this part from my shoulder to below my arm is about seven inches. I just measured seven inches and then I pinned it, tried it on, um, and it's, it's going to work. Um, you know, you could try it on and then pin it, and, you know, it's up to you. Uh, so I guess we'll do something with the neckline, tidy it up a little, um, sew the sides, and you can leave it open at the bottom. Actually, where I finished crocheting across here, I had left a long tail. I just have it pinned there with, um, with a hair clipped. <laughs> Because I work in the living room and I come back in the kitchen where the light is good to film. So I'm going back and forth. So I just pinned it so it wouldn't be hanging down. But uh, yeah, so leave a long tail um, because you're going to be sewing up here. I usually go, I usually make, a, leave a tail that's about four times the length. So I know I have enough. And uh, yeah, so you can leave a split at the bottom if you like. And um, yes, yeah, so, and then we're gonna do something around here possibly, probably. Now we're going to do the neckline. Now I'm showing you the bottom of my work here because we need our item to be on the right side out. And I'm just going by the bottom. To me, this is the right side out on both sides of my bottom. It's worked back and forth, so I don't know if there's really a right side and a wrong side. It's up to you which side you like best, I guess. All right, so I'm just going to simply put a single crochet. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to put a single crochet around the neckline. You can do what you like. Okay, I'm just going to start anywhere, and you should be able to see where to go into all the way around. Okay, pull my yarn through, chain one, go back in that same space. And that's a single crochet. And then go in every space with a single crochet. All right, I'll see you at the end of the neckline. Now I'm at the end of my neckline and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that I made. Chain one, and cut off my yarn. And I'll sew the end in later. I like to sew in my ends usually when I'm done the outfit. In case I have to do any frogging, <laughs> it's hard digging that, <laughs> oh, digging the end out when you've sewn it in, as probably many of you know. <laughs> All right, so there's my neckline. Okay, nice and neat. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to sew the sides together. Now I just... Uh, I turned my top inside out. I'm going to I have this long tail that I left here. I'm um, I'm not going to leave a little slit. I'm going to just go ahead and start sewing it together. I'm just going to do I think it's called a whip stitch. But you do it the way you do it. Okay, so I'm going to take out this first pin. I don't need this here. But I am going to leave the pin in that's um, right under the arm. Okay. Let's 
Okay, make sure your, your bottoms are even. This is all I'm gonna do. Just grab a couple of stitches on each side and just sew it together. Now I'm right up to that pin that I have marked under my arm. Just gonna, I'm gonna take that one out. There we go. And I'm gonna put one more stitch where that roughly where that pin was. Okay, and then Knot it. And then this one I'm actually going to sew in. I, don't, I like to go down the, the seam where I've sewn. And go in and out as much as I can. This one's got a dull tip on it, so it's a little hard to get in there. And then I'm going to go back on itself. I'm going to skip that stitch that I went into at the end here, skip it over it, and then go back on itself. Sometimes I do this, I don't know, two, three times maybe. Just to make sure that the end isn't going to pop out of there. Okay. And then, can cut that one off and then do this the other side the same way of course and then we'll flip our top the other way around and we're gonna do something on the uh, sleeves all right now I've turned my top right side out again and this is the opening for your arm I want to just go around it making the same stitch we've been making throughout. Okay, so what I want to do is start anywhere really. And I want to just go under, like not, I don't want to go in, let's see, I don't want to go in these spaces because I think that would make too much of a, of a hole. So I'm going to go through just under a couple of loops. Okay, just hook my yarn on. And maybe do a couple of rows around here. Or, you know, you could just keep going and make a short sleeve or keep going and make a long sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go back into that little spot and put our shell, five double crochets. Okay, so that was one, two, three, oops, three, Four, five, and then um, skip a couple of spots, go in the next spot with a single crochet. Okay, skip a couple of spots, go in the next one with your shell. Okay. 
have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll skip a couple of spots, go in the next one, the single crochet. Okay, and make sure you keep track or, or come back and count how many shells you did because you want to do the same amount on the other sleeve. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, now the last stitch I made was a shell. And I think you do want to try to finish on a shell and then make um, your single crochet. And I have nine shells. I don't know how many you have. <laughs> oh, maybe different because if yours is a different size. All right. So now we want to get to we want to get to the third stitch here. So I'm going to slip stitch to that third stitch. All right. because we're going to make our single crochet. Okay, chain one. Make our single crochet in there, and then we're going to make, go to our single crochet, just like we did throughout the whole top, go to our single crochet here and make our uh, shell, and uh, make another row. I'm not sure if you can hear that music, I think. It's a car outside or something. Okay, so that's the shell. And then we go over our next shell and put a single crochet and so on and so forth. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm going to try it on after I finish this second row. Okay, so I made two rows around the um, sl uh, sleeve area. And I've decided that that's what I'm going to do, just the two rows. And it just made a little cap sleeve. It's kind of cute. So I put my last shell into that single crochet there. And then I'm just going to slip stitch over to... Um, eh, maybe here. Whoops. Let's see what that looks like. Normally I do the other sleeve and then I record doing the second sleeves but somebody noisy is going to be home soon so I need to take this opportunity to to film <laughs> okay. let's see oh come on oh it's tough 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 to get in there okay Okay, now I just slip stitched in the top of, what is it, the second, I guess it's the second double crochet. Yeah, oh, and then we have, that would be a single crochet right there. You could slip stitch over there too if you want. But anyway, I think I'll just leave it like that. I mean, that's under the arm, so, you yeah. know. Okay, um, so I'll see you back in a minute. All right, now I'm going to just cut this. And then I'm going to sew in the end. And that's it. That is it. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, being here and subscribing to my channel and liking. Um, when you hit that like, it actually moves us up in the algorithm so it helps our channels too and then sharing of course sharing our videos helps our channel a lot too and um um sharing too you know your social media if if you're on pinterest i would love for you to share my videos there and uh especially my tutorials that would help me out so so much 
I'm using a sharper needle here, and it just than I had before, <laughs> but still give me a hard time. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so your ends in, and then you're done. And I would love to see your finished top in my Facebook group, which is linked below. Yeah. Or if you're not on Facebook, just I would love for you to send me um, just an email. My email address is below as well. So there, I think that looks cute. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you all so much. I'm just talking as I'm trying to straighten out the sleeve to show you. Yeah. So there it is. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>